we got to, you know, we have, there's a window. Well, they were here for six years. Not six years. Like, hey, this is like one year. You're starting to break down. Not your knees. knees. <laughs> oh, I poked my toe in that is. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do our headliner tonight, folks. He is a writer, actor, who hosts the Risk Storytelling Show and podcast, which you can catch on the fourth Thursdays of every month here at the Pit. Uh, he also appeared in the Reno 911, the movie, The Ten, Wedding Days, Flight of the Contours, and of course, one of the founding members of the legendary sketch group, The State. Please welcome Mr. Kevin Allison. <laughs> Yes, indeed. Are you pretty familiar indeed. with this place? I am, I am. I, the, the place has been doing so wonderful since it's been in its new space. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you, you remember the old days, the old pit days. Yeah, it was just a tiny, tiny little room and the fire department would come pretty much every day to try to close it down. Yeah, because there was only like one entrance and exit yeah. and it was just a huge fire trap. And the staircase. <laughs> <laughs> and I heard that it was a former synagogue. I don't it must have been a, like a very underground, underground. <laughs> hipster, <laughs> like unorthodox. Yeah, when I when I first came to the pit, Ali said, "Oh my God, you're Kevin Allison from the state." I, I was just walking in to like see a show or something, and he said, "Would you like to teach her? Teach a sketch comedy class?" And I said, "Oh, uh, maybe I'll think about it." And he said, "I'll tell you what." Come to my class on Saturday. I teach a sketch comedy class of my own. Come to my class on Saturday to see what it's like. And if I'm not there, why don't you just take over? <laughs> and if I'm not there, so I, would, I would sit no for a few months, convinced this was a very you know, iffy place. Yeah. But I finally did it and found that I was just totally at home because it's a very, very friendly, like, community kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. They let me at the show. Yeah, absolutely. I'm That's surprised. very friendly. Very friendly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what we're doing here. Uh, you, as you said, uh, Ali had that impression, Kevin Allison from the state. I mean, that's, do you get that a lot still? Kevin Allison from the state. And that's kind of how I react. Every now and then, yeah, I, I mean, it was, <laughs> this day was a long time ago. And people often say, oh my god, I'm so sorry. I'm sure you hate when this happens. And I always say, not at all. Yeah. <laughs> say all the nice things you want to say. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, this is Sketch Fest. I'd love to get into it. We can obviously want to talk about the risk storytelling and what you're doing now with Story Studio. But could we get to those those early days and you were at NYU, you guys all just met up there? How, how did it all come together? Uh, it was how did you get involved? 88, 88 was the year that the group came together, and I was not in the group at first. What happened was I um I it was it was I was 18 years old, and I thought that Joe Latrulio was hot. I saw him in the hallways of the Tisch School of the Arts, and I was like, I would like to sleep with that guy. And so I started kind of stalking him, and and there was one day, one day. I he was in line for the drop ad to go see the counselor to drop a class and add a class. And I was like, oh my god, I'm just going to sit outside the counselor's office, listen to what class he's adding, and then get into that class. And so I did. <laughs> and in the class, Joe one time said, hey, my comedy group is doing a show tonight. I want to invite everyone to come. So I came to see the show. And it was no longer about Joe Latrulio for me. All of a sudden it was like, oh my god, this comedy group is the most amazing thing I've ever seen. Michael Schultz hot too. <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> But no, no, it was super, su that first show, it was the very first show, and there was a feeling in the audience as if this group had been around forever. It was like a weird deja vu thing, like, there is such a chemistry here, and it was totally organic. It was just Todd Olivet put up an audition sheet and says, who wants to get together and form a new comedy group? And so I determined, okay, now I am going to get into that group. Yeah. And so I started hanging out with them after, you know, after classes, uh, drinking basically. And I remember it was one night we were at this place called the Dugout, this 
real dive bar on 2nd Avenue. And uh, I was like, I'm going to do something crazy to convince these people that I'm kind of nutty. So I went in the bathroom, and it, the place was a total dump. And there was like an inch of water on the floor of the bathroom, and kind of urine you know? Yeah. And I took off all my clothes, except for my boots, and headed out into the bar, the bar proper. This is like in public, uh, completely naked, raising a glass, and I just improvised a wailing tune. And I remember exactly how it went. It went, oh, standing in an inch of urine, well, becomes a sailing man. And then I went on from there, and everyone in the room was like, this guy is amazing. So that was like my audition, and, wow. and like that I was in. <laughs> Pre-Facebook, it was a lot harder. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Adding and dropping glasses. <laughs> <laughs>